99.5% of the plastics we use in the world are petrosourced. So if we can recycle with our technology many times, we are going to save a lot of uh, fossil fuel to the planet. Welcome to The Switch. I'm Elena Casas. Every year, we produce around 380 million tonnes of plastic. And while you may put yours into the recycling bin, only about 9% of waste plastic globally actually gets recycled. Most of the rest is incinerated, which drives global heating and releases pollutants. Microbiologists, though, realised there was a better solution when they discovered some bacteria could survive by eating plastic. Well, the French company Carbios is using bacteria to digest plastic at an industrial scale, and CEO Emmanuel Ladon joins me now. Emmanuel, hi. To start with then, how does the process work? So it's quite easy. We start from waste. And from those waste, we are going to um, use the enzymes that we have developed. The enzyme is a protein, and it plays the role of a scissors. So it's going to cut the waste into the basic components of the plastics. Then we have to reassemble the, 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 the components to make a virgin plastics again. How did you find the right bacteria to work with that would digest this? Well, it was a long journey because Carbios was created in 2011. Uh, so it took about seven years before we uh, find uh, enzyme uh, and optimize those enzymes that could really uh, be efficient on plastics. Uh, the nature did not have time to invent uh, the right uh, enzyme. So what we did is accelerate a little bit the nature because plastic is a pretty recent material. It's uh, 50, 100 years old. So uh, we have, uh, based on the uh, natural enzymes, we have uh, optimized it, uh, bioengineered it, so that it can be efficient on cutting the plastics. Carvios, home country of France, has taken a lead in cracking down on plastic waste. Corporations there must use fully recycled packaging by next year. The company is working with consumer goods giants, including L'Oreal and Nestlé, to make new plastic from their old packaging. In Europe, by 2025, 25% of the packaging will have to be um, incorporating recycled content. And by 2040, that's going to be 65%. And, and the current technology are, are limited in terms of um, quality and, and, and circularity. Traditional recycling degrades the quality of plastic, but this process can allow it to be recycled endlessly like glass. It's also fairly low energy, meaning it produces about 60% less carbon emissions than making new plastic. As we go back to the basic components of the plastics, which we call monomers, um, we are going back to exactly the same qualities as the virgin petrosource plastics. So uh, the beauty of that is we can, uh, from a bottle of shampoo, makes a bottle of water, from a T-shirt, makes a bottle of water. So we can recycle a lot of waste which are not recyclable today. 99.5% of the plastics we use in the world are petrosourced. So if we can recycle with our technology many times, we are going to save a lot of uh, fossil fuel to the planet. How commercially viable is this technology? There is a report of OECD which says that uh, we should go from about 10% recycling today to 60% by in the next 40 years. So uh, the, 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 the market in front of us is enormous. Even if uh, the plastic starts to be reduced in terms of quantity and utilization, there is so much market uh, as the recyclability is so low today that we, uh, we are very confident on the future. How urgent is it that we move more quickly in recycling more plastic? So we need to use plastics, but uh, we cannot stay with 9% recyclable uh, content. So the, 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 the urge for new technology is coming. And that's where we see um, an absolute necessity to have new technology like the one of Carbios and others uh, to really change the game and help the brands go from 9% to hopefully 60%. We believe it's possible to achieve 60% in the next decades.